let's do our own quota sample so you have an idea of how you set up those quotas or the representative categories of people. This is information from our Eastern New Mexico website and it's about the teachers at Eastern and it has administrators, coaches, and employees who teach part-time included. But what I want to do is just look at this um, category right here and I'm not going to consider the coaches and the teaching assistants just the full-time people who were hired just to teach. So I'm just looking at them and you can see we have data for fall 2012 and right here fall 2012 data and it's broken into male and female and then we have fall 2013 data here and again broken into male, female and total. We have the same thing for all uh, faculty whether they're full-time or part-time and by the college that they work in and so you can see full-time part-time breakdown as well as the gender and rank breakdown. So what I'm going to do is narrow this down for our quota. We're not going to consider fall 2012. We're just going to look at the 2013 data since this was just last fall. And I am going to just make quotas based on male, female. I'm not going to worry about the, um, about the, the college and the full or part time. Okay, so what I want to do is look at, um, it says using the fall 2013 data from the EMU faculty facts summary, determine the percent of male professors of any kind, and here I'm telling you, these are considered professors, and the female professors of any kind, the male instructors or lecturers, so we're going to group those two together, instructors or lecturers, and then the female instructors or lecturers, and then write the, write the totals here. So this is our census information, so it's every faculty member is included, so we're going to say professors, and then instructors, lecturers. And we can do just a little chart, it makes it a little bit easier. Maybe move that down a little. Okay, so I've got my little chart here and then I want to know male and female. Okay. So professors who are male, that's the first thing I want to know. And I'll come up here, that's going to be the first one, two, three categories, so 25, 12, and 29, so I can add those up. 25 plus 12 plus 29, and I get 66 male professors. And I'm going to put it real close to the left because I think I might want to use this table for number two as well. And then I need to know instructor, instructors or lecturers, and so there's 13 and 76. Holy cow. So 13 plus 76, that gives me 89 male instructor slash lecturers. And then I need female professors. I haven't actually done this um, calculation yet, so I really don't know how many we have in each category. So it's the first three categories on female, so it's 20, 40, 56 it looks like. And I'm just adding those in my head. You could use your calculator. So we have 56 female professors and then instructors or lecturers. We have 133 it looks like. Okay, so then we want to know what percent that is out of the total number of faculty that we're listing here. So I just want to add them all up really quick just to make sure I didn't miss anybody. 25 plus 12 plus 29 plus 13 plus 76 plus, that's the males, and then 13 plus 20 plus 23 plus 
30 plus 103. And so I get 344 faculty all together. And it's really helpful if you go ahead and put on these totals columns because they help you find errors. So I think that that total should be 344. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm just building my table as I go. So I have 344 here. And then if I add going down, I have this is totals. And this is totals. So if I add going down, I have 9 and 6 is 17, 8 and 6 is 14 plus 1, so 157. And if I add these, I have 6 and 3 is 9, 5 and 3 is 8, and 189 all together. If I add those two numbers, I should get 344. 157 plus 189, 346 probably made a mistake. Let's try. 66 plus 89. Oh, 155. There it is. Oh yeah, 9 and 6 is 15, not 17. Wow. Well, I guess we could pretend that I did that as an example to show you how you really need to double check your math by using these totals columns, otherwise you come out wrong. And I was two over, and since I found two that I was over there, I know my total's going to be right. And then I can add a cross, and that should be 130, 142, I'm gonna guess. And then this one, eight, and I'm gonna just add those because I don't feel like carrying 133 plus 89, 222. And to that, I'll add 142 and see, I get 364. So let's try that again. 66 plus 56, 122. I am not having good luck today. So back to there. Fix my number. So when I add those, 66 plus 56, I get 122 plus 222, that comes to 344. So now I know I have my numbers correct. Now what I want to do is, you can just put a slash in, in here if you want, and you'll probably want it on the totals as well. And what I want to do now is find the percent. So 66, and I'm taking it out of that whole 344. So 66 divided by 344 equals, and convert it to a percent, so move your decimal two places, and so I get 19.186, so I'll make it 19.19. And that is a percent, so I'm going to put the percent by it, and then 56 divided by 344. And that's going to be 16.279 or 28. Percent. And then 122 divided by 344. That's going to be 35.465 or 35.47. percent 89 out of 344 25.87 38.66 222 divided by 344 64.53 and then 155 divided by 344 
And then 344 divided by itself, it should be 100%. So now what we want to do is double check some figures. So I want to take that 19.19 plus 16.28, and I get 35.47. That's perfect because that's what I have on the row for the top row. And then 25.87 plus 38.8. 6, 6 equals 64.53 so again that one works and then 45.06 plus 54.94 equals and that one gives me 100 and then 35.47 plus 64.53 equals that one gives me 100 as well so I've just double checked by adding down and adding across for all my rows and columns so that I can make sure that everything totals what it should in the table. And that way I can double check, make sure I didn't make any errors. So now I have a good idea of what the percents are for Eastern's population. So we have 344 faculty members and we want to do a sample size of 250. And so what I wanna know is how many faculty I need to survey for each of these categories. So to do that for male professors, I need 19.19% of the 250 to be talked to as male professors. So what that comes to, remember you have to convert it back to a decimal. So we'll have 0.1919 times 250 and I get 47 point nine seven male professors I can't talk to point nine seven because I can't like just chop off an ear or an arm to make it point nine seven so I'll have to talk to 48 professors and they do have to be male for this criteria. Then we want female professors. And so female professors, we have 16.28% of the 250. So we're going to multiply 0 0.1628 times the 250, and we get 40.7. So we're going to talk to 41 female professors. And then we need to talk to instructors and lecturers, so male instructors. And that was going to be 25.87% out of or of 250 people. So I'll take 0 0.2587 times 250, and that gives me 64.67. So I'm going to have to talk to 65 male instructors, and then female. This is the best category because that's the category I belong to. We have 38.66% of 250. So 0.3866 times 250. And I get 96.65. So I'll have to talk to 97 female instructors. Okay, so there's my list. Now, what I would do, 
Uh, I think it's the next question. Well, hold on for a minute. Okay, explain how you rounded or any other changes you made to the raw percentages. So let's take a look. We know we rounded every single one of them we had to round up, but I'm curious, do we have a 250 in our sample now or not? So I'm going to take 48 plus 41 plus 65 plus 97. I get 251. This does not surprise me. 251 is going to be my n. So what I'm going to do is just leave it and say I'm changing my n to 251 because I didn't want to chop off half of a person here. So what I've done here, I'll say I rounded for every category. And my My total came to 251, so I will just change big N, okay? And that's pretty common for you to be like one off or something like that. So we'll just bump up our N to 200, or it's in a little N, sorry. Big N is your population, little n is your sample. So we're talking about little n here. Sorry about that. So I'll just change my little n, my sample size, I'll just modify by one. It's not a problem. Okay, and then what do I do next to complete my quota survey? What do you do for a quota? You know now you need to talk to 48 male professors, 41 female professors, 65 male instructors, 97 female instructors, so the next thing that you do is you go go somewhere, you will find lots of faculty and talk to them until each quota is filled. And so what that means is that once I've talked to the 48 male professors and say I run into another male professor, I just thank him for his time and I don't take any information from him because I only wanted 48 to keep my quotas right. So say I go, there's a few places I would go if I wanted to talk to faculty members. I would go to the cafeteria at lunchtime and I would just talk to any, any person who walks by and say, are you a faculty member? And then I would ask them what their ranking was and then if I'd already filled the quota that they belong to, I would just thank them, send them on their way. And if they were in a quota that I hadn't filled yet, then I would ask them the questions I was going to survey with. So I go to the cafeteria, I could go to Eastern events of any kind, you'll see a lot of faculty there. Um, and you could go around to the faculty offices, you could go to the liberal arts building, which is being remodeled of course, or you could go to the College of Business building, to the fine arts, the music building, over to Greyhound Arena, you could go to the College of Ed, any of those or the science buildings and then just talk to whatever faculty members you found there. That would be a quota sample.